New details at 6. A vicious dog attack left an Asheville woman dead last week, and now the owners of the dogs are facing charges related to her death. Adam and Susan Withers both charged with involuntary manslaughter and failure to restrain a vicious dog. Now, that attack happened in Pickaway County last Thursday between Circleville and Columbus, right off Asheville Pike Road. Thanks for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Yolanda Harris. Now the dog's owners appeared in Circleville Municipal Court this morning. Gentibee's Colin Dorsey is looking into the attack and the documented history of problems with the dogs. Adam and Susan Withers made their first court appearance this morning, but they showed no remorse for what their dogs had done. It was something deeply upsetting to a close friend and relative of 73 year old Joanne Eckelbarger. Both mom and son straight faced as they faced a judge for the first time since Thursday's dog attack. She's a sweet, sweet lady. A very special person. That's how Susan Sievers described Joanne Eckelbarger. Still too upset to talk on camera, she told stories of the two going to school and church together, the same church where Eckelbarger will be laid to rest this week. How was something like this allowed to happen? It's the question gripping the neighborhood. Neighbors also unwilling to talk on camera today. The dogs that attacked Echelbarger had a history. Just last year, they've been the focus of four municipal filings against Adam Withers. A year ago, one of the dogs was deemed a dangerous dog by the county dog warden after it bit someone and killed a dog. Withers did not fulfill the requirements to keep the dog by December and was cited again. By May, he still hadn't complied. That same month, someone turned him in for not keeping one of the dogs on a muzzle on a walk, a requirement for a dangerous dog. However, some of those citations were dismissed. To say I was shocked is an understatement. Echelbarger's death hitting hard for Asheville's mayor. What could be done was something brought up by council members in Monday's village council meeting. And we're going to be part of that discussion on that. Right now, Asheville has ordinances on dogs running at large and dangerous dogs, but it's up to the courts to decide to remove said dogs. Both Adam and Susan Withers were given a $500,000 cash surety or property bond. They've also been ordered to stay away from the victim's family and witnesses in this case. They also cannot have any dogs in their possession for the time being. In Asheville, Colin Dorsey, 10TV News.